you guys can see but they're pretty sparsed out this is what it's gonna look like if you do end up looking for it they're long thin and they have these yellow pods on top these bloom into flowers when it's ripe I guess but <laughs> this is what they look like And if you do end up cutting them, well, in my culture of Navajos, my dad always said, um, just give a little corn pollen to the plant, you know, say thank you and that you're taking them to be Navajo tea and that you wish that they grow in abundance after you pick them. So that's what we're going to do. And you want to make sure that you cut down here. You don't pull the whole root out. And if you shake them from the top, the seed should fall out and, you know, replant when the time is right. But there is quite a few here. So we're gonna pick these tea now and we're gonna um, put them in this little basket that I have right here. I got my clippers here so we make sure that we cut them off clean. And yeah, so I'll show you guys. This is pretty cool. <laughs> and they're not roadside, but that's what you're wondering. <laughs> I was really lucky to find these pretty close to home. I saw everyone on Instagram and like Facebook picking these from like way out in the res, <laughs> like a Chinle area. And I was like, I can't go all the way over there. So I'm really thankful we found some guys. I'll send you guys all a little package of Navajo tea. <laughs> This res dog just chilling in the dirt. Oh no, Levi! <sighs> Have to give you a bath when we get home. Levi, quit rolling in the dirt. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I got my tea, guys. So this is what I'm gonna pick for now. I don't wanna go crazy and kill all the vegetation. <laughs> but I think this is a good bunch. Looks so pretty. You guys have no idea how beautiful this is and how wonderful it's gonna taste. Amazing.
and like I said, I've only been seeing them in like the Four Corners area. And to be honest with you guys, I've never picked Navajo tea. I know I sound like I do, but I didn't. <laughs> I haven't picked Navajo tea. Um, my mom usually goes out and buys it and just gives it to me. So I never went out to buy Navajo tea. But I remember back in high school, my Navajo teacher, she used to talk about it a lot. She used to tell us um, how she picked it, where, and like she was teaching her grandkids that. But personally, I've never went out to pick it. So I've had this idea for a long time. Um, I think it was last year that I wanted to go and pick Navajo tea to show you guys. But like I said, I had no idea where it grew or how to fix it and stuff like that. So I just kept it like on the bucket list of my YouTube ideas until I finally decided to go out and do it. So I'm really happy that I finally got to do this myself and I get to clean it and prepare it myself. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. And it makes me feel like really special because I know my grandmas and grandpas, they like Navajo tea and it's just sort of like a native thing to have this kind of tea. <laughs> so I'm happy and yeah, we're gonna dry them out, we're gonna roll them and we're gonna see how it tastes in the end. And <laughs> I don't know if you guys wanna know this story, but last week after I filmed the Breaking Bad tour, um, we went up to Wingate per, you know, people saying that there was Navajo tea growing there. They were lying because we went up there last weekend, drove all the way to McGaffey just to find it, and there was none. Like, there was absolutely no Navajo tea there. We drove all the way there, and we didn't find any. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got lucky. So, yeah, we are headed back home, and I'm happy I got to show you guys that. It's a real tradition. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys later. So, bye. Hey, guys. So, I just got back home after picking these Navajo tea. I went ahead and I washed them. Um, just went ahead and rinsed them down before I bundled them up. So, that's what I did, and now I separated them, and we have six little bushels here that we're gonna roll up and tie together but I just wanted you guys to see like the process of this <laughs> so I have some tea from last fall um, the one my mother gave me and this is how it's gonna turn out it's gonna look like this so you just fold them onto each other as thick as you want and yeah just get a, a little string and tie them together yeah, I know people do this differently. I know they wrap their tea differently, but I'm just going off what I see from um, this one right here. So we're gonna do the same thing. And Levi is back here, he's chewing on his bone. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna wrap it up. As you guys can see here, you just bend it over like this. And it's a lot easier to do this when you pick them because when they dry out, they're just gonna snap. <laughs> they're gonna snap right in half. So it's gonna look like this. And I guess people wrap them differently just so they can keep the little flowers in there. So you're gonna wrap it and then you're gonna tie it off with just a simple knot here. Nothing too crazy. And there you go. There's your little bundle of tea. <laughs> so many. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this tea actually has some good properties in it. It helps with like stomach cramps, stomach aches, um, fevers. People also use these to dye the wool a special color. So I know I said earlier that I've never done this before. So if anyone's watching and would like to offer some knowledge or some information about Navajo tea, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> so I'm really happy I got to show you guys this. We went out and picked them, we cut them, we washed them, and we put them into these cute little bundles here. And now we are gonna make some and I'll let you know in the next video how these ones come out because these are gonna take a couple days to dry. And yeah, I can't wait, so I'm just gonna use this other tea. <laughs>
so let's go. So now that the water is boiling, we're gonna go ahead and drop this in. We're gonna let it sit in there for a minute. Let it submerge in there. You see how the water is turning colors? I'm just gonna turn that off. <laughs> so we're gonna let this sit here for maybe five or six minutes. It's got that nice brown color coming out. It smells wonderful in here. So make sure you strain your tea so all of those little floaties come out. But this is what the color is and I'm gonna put it into some ice because I have some iced tea. And it smells amazing, guys. Ooh, it's so beautiful. A nice cup of cold Navajo tea. Mmm. So there we have it, guys. We made our own Navajo tea, and it tastes delicious. Um, so I'm going to let these air dry, and we're going to have so much tea for this fall. It's going to be perfect. So I forgot to mention that if you are in the area, like around Gallup or the Reds, that they do sell um, packages of tea, Navajo tea, and they're different flavors. I think there's honey, there's sweetened, unsweetened, and they're just in the regular tea packets so you can just dip them in the hot water. You don't have to go out and pick your own. <laughs> so it is already made and yeah guys, I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video and yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy this with Levi, who is asleep by the way. Bro, wake up. Say goodbye. Bye guys.